Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest coming to you from Emory, Texas, May 2nd through the 6th. Welcome to the live well and to get us ready for that, let's talk, well, you know, the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest is a, a sort of a, a modern day version of the Toyota Texas Bass Classic. That was one of the forerunners of this event, that and Bass Fest, and a former champion of that, Brian <laughs> Snowden is with us right here. That was in 2010, 2010, Lake Conroe. Memory, Lake Conroe. Lake Conroe, you won that thing, but this time around, we are going to Lake Fork, and Lake Fork is one of those things that makes oh. fishermen's eyes light oh, up everywhere. Yeah. Are you? Let me add before we even start in on that. When you hear that we're going to some place where they smash them, like Fork or Gunnersville or or St. Lawrence River, do you go, "Oh man, everybody will catch them," or do you go, "I'm going to catch them big time"? I still love to catch them, so it's All it's right. exciting. You okay. know, it's always exciting, and, and uh, when you get to catch seven, eight, even ten. 12 pound fish. I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I guess the last time they were there for this tournament, the, the forerunner, the TTBC, I think they smashed the 100 pound mark in right. a big way. Right? And I'm, you're going to see that again. Oh, it'll happen again. Okay. I, I almost guarantee you that. Why does it happen there at Lake Fork in May? Well, we've, we've just got the fish moving out from spawning. You know, there's a, a, a lot of cover. I think the, the guy that finds that transition area where those fish are moving out of their spawning areas is going to be the one that really puts those big ones in the boat. And, uh, you know, Keith's going to be there. Oh, okay. yeah. And uh, there's no <laughs> one better. About that. There's no one better at that type of structure sure. fishing with the crankbait, and he knows how to catch them in Texas. Uh, I just hope, you know, that that's one of those places you can find an area like that for myself, because that's really what I want to do get off the bank and do some structure fishing. Yeah. Is there, is there any use when you go to a place like Fork and you're fishing against guys like Keith Combs and trying to? Say, you know, the only way I could possibly win this thing is to do something completely different, or is it just a better bet to do what's really working and hope hope you wind up with the biggest of the big ones? Well, you know, there, there's definitely going to be some shallow fish. You know, there there will be guys that catch them with you know lily pads, grass. There'll be guys that catch really good stringers of fish shallow. You won't have to fish the structure. I just think that time of year, the guy that finds that medium range structure spot going to have a better chance of winning than the shallow. Well, that's what we'll be looking for. This is a big time tournament. I mean, this is sort of the, as we say, it's it's the modern day version of Bass Fest, sort of the mid-season thing. Million dollar purse and, and the only tournament on the Bassmaster Elite Series where you gain a spot in the Classic just for winning the tournament. That yeah, makes you it. know, and that's, that's, that's one of the things we all shoot for is that Classic. So if you could come out of this with a win, that makes the rest of your season a whole lot easier. Looking forward to it? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Brian Snowden, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Brian Snowden on the live one.